Was it a meteor-related explosion or an extraterrestrial presence? It wasn't that. Sit back and enjoy this week's Mystery Files of Tape. I'm Shane, and that over there, I'm Ryan. That's Ryan Bergar. In each episode of Mystery Files Debrief, we'll take another look at the case, we'll go behind the scenes, we'll answer your guys' questions, and we'll also discuss your theories. And this week's case, of course, is the mysterious Tunguska incident. What a freaky one, man, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's crazy that- What happened? What happened out there? Aliens, aliens did it. Well, see you next week, everybody. (laughs) <laughs> no, we're having fun. Let's talk about those theories, though. Has anybody interrogated the tree? You keep talking about the tree as if there's one tree. There's not one tree. No, but there's that funny tree god. Oh, Ogdi. How could you forget about him? I he, did forget about him. He had the funniest him. little face, um, and I think he's up to something. Hey, let's talk about the theories slash suspects. Who do you think was responsible for this? Aliens? Oh, I know, that's what's funny about it. That's what's funny well, about it. Well, technically there are, there are suspects. God. And aliens. You're holding on to aliens, huh? I am. You think they, they landed and then blasted off? The blood just blasted their ass back into outer space? Yeah. Mm. That's what I think. The next closest thing is probably the uh, the ice boulder or whatever, the ice. Ice rock that just disintegrated when it hit the I ground. don't want to get in trouble. People, there's so many, What's a meteor? What's a meteorite? Asteroid? What? Who are you gonna get in trouble with, NASA? All the people in the comments, you know? Oh man, that's gonna suck. In puppet history, I, I, I referred to the father as a dinosaur, even though in earlier episodes we did refer to him as a pterosaur, and everyone was like, there's so many comments of people being like, uh, <laughs> good episode, but uh, <laughs> pretty sure he's not a dinosaur. Look, as everybody in the office has already told you, you gotta let it go, man. I never will. Every day you walk into I the office. I never will. And you do. <laughs> Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Well, we had some people uh, putting forth theories of their own. Let's take a peek at them. They better all say aliens. Well, that doesn't make sense. Will you get out of here? I have Grammarly Go, I don't need you. Oh, you've got Grammarly Go, the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're in good hands then. I'll leave you to it, big boy. <laughs> okay, well, I've told you to stop calling me that. I don't need the big guy looming over my shoulder when I've got Grammarly Go, which offers personalized generative AI assistance that speeds up my productivity and unlocks my creative side. Am I being formal or casual? Do I want to sound personable and witty? Or do I want to be a bit more direct? direct? Next, I tell Grammarly Go what I'm trying to write. If I'm reaching out to someone to ask for ghost evidence or maybe sending a thank you note to someone for sending said ghost evidence, Grammarly Go can help in the brainstorming process by generating suggestions for me as I get started. Like maybe I'm trying to float some ideas past Brittany for the next season of Mystery Files. Hey, Brittany. Grammarly Go can actually help me get those creative juices flowing. That genius gravy running. And finally, a feature I've come to rely on, Grammarly Go's rewrite. Take this little birthday message I'm sending to Steven. His birthday's in November, but I wanted to get a head start. I simply highlight what I've written and I can ask Grammarly to make it more exciting. You'll be amazed at what you can do with Grammarly Go. Sign up at grammarly.com slash watcher05 and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. Now that's a good deal, right? Let's get back to the show. I could still see you. This is from Tad H.G. Bristow. As someone that does not believe in anything supernatural, this case leaves me confused. (laughs) (laughs) All I can say is it might have been a lumber company cutting some trees without permission and a few too many people eating some mushrooms in one night. I mean, that's a fun theory. That's a fun theory, a but bunch also of lumberjacks. On absolutely shrooms. crazy. That's not a th- no. Wasn't there like stuff at the site itself, like radiation-wise, or can't, or was that a different case? Uh, I don't know. Here's the thing, though. The trees were there. They just had all their branches knocked and they, off, and they were like, and then perfect. further out, they were knocked down. If it was a lumber company, and 
I think we can probably dispel that pretty quickly because, you know, big boom. Big, big, big boom, 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 boom. Everyone here, boom, 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 shattered glass, probably. No, yeah, that's true. I don't see how a lumber company. Did you could do ever that. see? You There'd know, also be tracks from like the cars of the lumber right, company going. Right. Uh, granted, they didn't get there till like six years later, but yeah, it took them a while. You would still think there'd be some remnant. Did you ever? Did you ever see that video in Russia of the uh, meteor meteorite asteroid raining down? Uh, yeah, when it hit, yeah. and it, it didn't even hit the ground. It just hit the atmosphere, and it sent out such a shockwave of sound that it just shattered glass and. Yeah. Do you think that is accurate? I don't know if that's accurate because if I'm remembering correctly, there was a sound wave that emitted from this, correct? Did, correct. And it, did very shatter, loud. and it did shatter it, quite a it bit. Knocked someone over. Someone went, oh. Which is normally indicative of some sort of asteroid or comet hitting. Right. And yet there's no crater. Well, no. Well, my point was that in that video from Russia, it did not, I mean, it did impact eventually. It was pretty small. Uh, but the sound shockwave that went out was from it hitting the atmosphere. Yeah. But they found where the asteroid hit, though. I mean, I assume. So, therefore, aliens. Sure. You know, I don't mind black hole either. That's stupid. I, I think that's kind of dumb. I feel like that would swallow that's the Earth. That's stupid. It probably would swallow the How Earth. big, like a little black hole? Like, like one you could fit in your pocket? Here's my pocket black hole. Remember, what? There wasn't there a cartoon where there was a black hole and you could throw it on things? You're thinking of Looney Tunes. Was there a specific episode where you could put the hole on the wall and you could jump into it? I love that people aren't watching this. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? I'd really like to see what else they have to say about the Tunguska yeah. event. <laughs> and Ryan's like, what was that thing they had in Looney Tunes? Yeah, and you could throw it on a wall and they could go through it. And then he was like, I'll take that. The debriefs put have never back. felt more justified. We have put a lot back. more to say about this. And hopefully, like last week, this will be longer than the episode I was saying, it seems like it must be some sort of... Alien. Here's another theory from Ruri. It probably took so long to get to the impact site because every tree was downed within hundreds of miles. You can't drive over downed trees. If there were any roads in that area to begin with, they'd be completely blocked. Did they even have chainsaws back then? Imagine a team of science nerds cutting their way through that with hatchets. That's actually a great point. They'd be a jacked team of scientists. Like nerd. Batista Jack? Yeah, because remember how Batista had those, first off, he had those tiny little glasses in a in Blade Runner 2049. Important. Yeah. And it made him even look bigger. Yeah. I should just start doing that. I should get tiny little glasses that are like, like this big. You should. That might make people think that you're a real big guy. They might. Should I get really big glasses? We should every episode of this show get glasses that get progressively smaller and yours get bigger until it becomes so obvious that people have to call it out. That sounds like a plan. Anyway, that's a great theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I guess you can't go over down trees. I that's do... true. I, I actually didn't even think of that. It's a lot of miles for of trees to be down without any evidence of a crater. Yeah. That's crazy. It's not nuts. It's a mysterious What event. happened? You know, it's like, that's what... That's what I, I, I that's want to know. Yeah, what happened? We, we can't explain it in the natural world. So the only other thing I could point to is aliens. Could you imagine what? if you landed on Earth yeah. and you based all of your knowledge of Earth and thinking like all your opinions off of where you landed and you landed in Russia? Boom. In the forest? And it's they're like, cold. wow, this place sucks. I guess we'll go to somewhere else. And that's yeah. that. But if they land in Cabo, or, we might be like, full, they might be fully integrated into our society by now. Or like I we said- We might be in, walking outside, you know, there might be an intern here at Watcher Entertainment who's sitting over there in the corner being like, what? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> or we'll be at like a Watcher pool party and they'll be like, this is the best pool I've been in since Goop Goop. And this whole episode would be different because we'd be like, why don't you come on here and tell us about what happened to your ancestors at Tunguska? And he'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then they'll try and eat this globe bowl <laughs> because it looks like candy on their native planet. They'll be like, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to questions now. Let's get at them. Yes. This one's from Bridget. Are you ever going to go back and look at past cases now that you have more experience as investigators? This is interesting because we do have more experience, but in a way, we don't really, you know, no, I still, at all. That's one of our rare gifts. I think we're, we're dumber now to, than we're, we were in 2016. I was just about to say most humans intake experience and then convert that into knowledge. Mm. And we take experience and we convert that. Into goop goop. Into poop. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's all we do. Right. Yeah. By and by over time that just makes you dumber. Are there I'm trying to think if there's any cases that we would actually revisit. I think there's a couple that come to mind because there's a couple unsolved cases that we did that weren't particularly depressing or gruesome. Sure. Yeah. I don't I'm not gonna rule it out. Nice. Okay, look forward to next season when it's all old cases. We're revisiting yeah. everything. We're just gonna we're gonna start from the top. We're just gonna not even from the top. We're not gonna even reshoot them. We're just gonna dub over our voices <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Welcome to History Files. <laughs> Post Holer says, assuming it was an asteroid that burnt up slash exploded before impact and caused an air burst, wouldn't that explain the lack of an obvious crater and the fact that only tiny pieces of space rock were recovered? Like a lot would have just become dust. Good luck finding that in a bog in Siberia or burned up completely. Ooh, getting a little cocky at the end of that question. Who Good luck finding that Post out. Holer? Damn, dude. Uh, post holer. Well, you, I got some news for you. What do you got? Oh, here he post goes. Here he goes. Okay, some, it's been a while since news. he did this, but he's about Don't to you think go that, for uh, the throat, baby. Here he goes. Here we go. Yeah, can you do me a favor and be yeah. quiet? I'm about to dunk on post holer. Wait. Oh, he dunked on me in the process. <laughs> Double dunk. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. You got standard. me, and now post solar, you're next. And now let me tell you, it stung, baby. Here good, we go. Here good, we good. go. Are you ready? I disagree. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, I think. Uh, Woo! You know, also if an alien ship landed, there would be a little debris shot out, probably, right? That's not even what this is about. What do you mean debris? What, he said like rocks. Yeah, but They're if like it was rocks. De oh, you're. They were saying like rocks were recovered, tiny little rocks. Yeah. So wouldn't like tiny little rocks be recovered if like something like blasted its way down? Were we able to find out if the rocks were uh, extraterrestrial? Yeah, or no, or not even that, just from space. Yeah, yeah, extraterrestrial. I guess that. Yeah, I guess yeah. That that technically is the definition of that. Yeah, it's just a weird way to say it. I don't know the Russian scientists ever actually did run. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna see if they ran because that's what we're, this is a debrief. I'm supposed to be doing this. You know, yeah, I gotta look right. this stuff up. Let me see. It is if, your duty. If they ever tested the rocks. Um, they believe that some of the debris are consistent with meteoric, meteoritic, meteoritic Wait, uh, so origin. They believe that they found debris that would be indicative of that, or are they positive this was They debris? believe they've found material that uh, is consistent with m meteoritic origin. Why is there this they believe? It's, it, there is or it isn't. I don't know, man. I don't know if they... Um, We're not talking rock. about ghosts. We're talking about... You're, oh, because you're saying... Are there scraps of there's meteor? no science involved when it comes to ghosts? Is that what you're... <laughs> kind of. I love to hear it. And I love to hear it. It's something you see with your eyes. But in this particular case, if these are scientists and they're like, I study rocks for a I don't know what kind of life. thing they t uh, test there. I assume probably something to do with radiation, you know? Space, space stuff. Is you would have to radiated. think. Yeah, I mean, it seems very, very much on. You know, just kind of floating around here. I think this, uh, frankly, I think this is all in Russia. You think Russia just did something crazy with their? No, I think they. It's up to them to to really get to the bottom oh, of I this. See. It's not our fault. Next one. This is from. It's Miko here. Nice. Shane, was it weird being the one presenting for once? Um, no. It did take us a little bit to get our sea legs in this one. And not I mean, even you, because the presentation style is different from something like Ghost Files. It is, yeah. We had to find some sort of middle ground that we both could kind of meet in. And also, you got to feel out the vibes. Different vibe. Different, different vibes. Vibe. The basement vibes are, it's a whole new era, you know? And, um, and we're having fun down there. Too much fun, as some right. of you may have noted with some of the VHS tapes. Okay. Anna Docking. Love, love, love the focus on mysteries other than typical true crime. Not just murders, but heists and general weirdness. What prompted the divergence from the norm? Well, true crime is very sad to talk about. We're not big true crime heads outside of uh, the content that we've made in the past. Uh, I, every now and then something will catch my attention, but I don't really care for the content. No, we just wanted to try something different. I think if we were gonna come back and do, I guess like a true crime show, we wanted to make it notably different than what we've done in the past. Kind of what we, we had a slant for Ghost Files that was a little different. We just wanted to discuss mysteries at large and not just confine it to gruesome murders, which we're not very interested in. And frankly, about. I'm excited to see where we go. This first season was a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll do six to 14 more seasons of this. I'm excited that it's, it's a much broader scope, you know, see what kind of crazy stuff 
we can uh, <laughs> dig into. Here's one from YouTube. Who created the intro for the show? The intro was done by our graphic artist, Diana Arana. Really nice, it's a really nice, really nice work. Uh, some of the animation, the swiping, I know Annie was trying to like mimic uh, like a slideshow, like the, like the projector, which is kind of cool. And I like the sort of VHS approach to it. You know, the scan yeah. lines. And the theme song, total banger. That's uh, a good one. Very, very, very happy with it. I listen to that all the time. It's my wake up alarm now. I scrubbed through hours of stock music. And when I found that one, I stood up. He screamed. And I screamed. He screamed. Everyone got really concerned. He screamed. Chuck Dite. Chuck Dite. Chuck Dite. Chuck Dite. They say, hey, would you consider putting up pictures of whatever dumb notes they wrote after an episode goes up? I just find the glimpses we get in the episodes really funny, and I'm curious how much they write down slash doodle. Uh, Annie, did, did you, cause I know they, they pop up here and there in the episodes. Did you scan every page? How did it work? There are scans. Wait, did you scan every page of my journal? Yeah. What did you write in there? That's really funny because one page of the journal, I can't remember which episode it was, but I got really caught up in the new Lakers players. Yeah. And so I was like trying to figure out the rotations of who would play. And there's like detailed, like this guy in for five minutes in the first quarter. Do we guy. have a scan of that? If so, let's put it on screen. It's right pretty now. good. I actually think it got close to This what... was during one of my episodes? Yeah, of course, you're boring. When I was present, which one was it? No, it was when someone else was presenting. What a nasty man. Uh, what a nasty guy. And I, I actually think it got pretty close to what Darvin Ham, the Lakers coach, ended up implementing. I'm not gonna say he stole them from me. But... You know what? What? <clears throat> Oh, he got, he, he, he readjusted his posture to let you know what he's about to say is important. I didn't want to do this. You didn't, but you're doing it. But I think the time has come. Okay. Ryan and I are no longer friends. <laughs> yep. I think it's official, right? It's official. No, We're you're... no longer friends. This is, oh God, it was a People one. are going to be looking back on this episode and they're going to go, that's when it all ended. Uh, and you'll have to tune in to see if we become friends again, but as of, as of right now, it's good. I've already we're no longer friends. I've had a statement prepared. I know. I've, um, I've, it's gone through several iterations. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to separate all of our assets that we share together. Yeah. This globe, we'll cut it in we'll half. We'll cut that in half. Stephen Lim, we'll cut him in half. <laughs> That's right. I got dibs on the top half. You could keep the bottom. We'll put a line down the center of the office like in that one episode of the Brady Bunch. And we'll hollow him out like a jack-o'-lantern so that all his entrails aren't hanging from each half. Well, you know what? I think that does it for this episode of Mystery Files Debrief. Is that it? Is that all? The yeah, brother. So bye-bye. <laughs> hey, quick word to the wise. Yeah. If you want to see these episodes a whole week early, you heard me correctly. A week early. That's yeah, how soon you can watch those episodes early. on patreon.com slash watcher. That's exciting. Ryan, take us home, my, co oh. my co-worker. Hey, you got it, my colleague. Barely. Barely colleagues. Colleague. And make sure you tune in Friday for a topic I've been wanting to cover for a long time, the Chupacabra. Oh, that's, that's a fun app. Good. That's a fun app. We were friends when we made that That's one. true, and there was a really so a nice funny vibe, test you know? that we did to simulate a Chupacabra attack, if you recall. I do recall that. That's actually not, that's not a bit. That we actually did do that in the episode. Yeah. It's not as spectacular as it sounds, but it's pretty good. Hey, for a chance to be featured on next week's debrief, be sure to comment uh, with your theories and questions uh, on the episode, or as I mentioned, have, have head over to patreon.com slash watcher to see the episodes a whole dang week early and get an even better chance of getting your question ticked. See you guys next week. See you next week. You look at me. I'm looking. And you look at me too. All right. It's on you now. Is this mystery solved? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>